if the alkalinity in your hot tub is too high, it can reduce your sanitizer's effectiveness and cause green water. But why is your alkalinity high in the first place? How do you lower it? To fix your alkalinity levels, you actually need to manage your pH levels. Check it out. What is alkalinity and what is pH? Well, pH is the measurement of how acidic or basic your hot tub water is. Our goal is to keep the pH balance between 7.4 and 7.6. Hot tub pH is volatile. Any little thing that interacts with your water can drastically change the pH. And that's where alkalinity comes in. It's like pH's bodyguard. In the right amount, alkalinity will take Ow. the hit first before Ow. anything drastically affects your pH. So without alkalinity, the pH reading would be all over the place. We recommend keeping your hot tub alkalinity between 100 and 150 parts per million or ppm. Okay, so what causes high alkalinity in a hot tub? Well, if you drain and clean your hot tub every three to four months, like we recommend, your alkalinity levels should be fine. But if they're too high, here are some common reasons why. One, too many chemicals. You could be adding too many chemicals to your hot tub, which can increase your total dissolved solids or TDS. This will mess with your hot tub's water chemistry. And you can avoid this issue if you drain and clean your hot tub every three to four months. Two, body lotions, sunblocks, perfumes, hair gel, and even sweat and skin cells can mess with your alkalinity level. So always shower before you use your hot tub. Three, your water source. You may live in an area where your local water supplier has a high alkalinity reading. Ask your local water district for a water reading and most places will provide one. Four, human error. You could have accidentally had a heavy hand in adding alkalinity increaser or baking soda. Whoops. So how do you lower alkalinity in your hot tub? The easiest way is to actually add pH decreaser or sodium bisulfate. Because alkalinity and pH work hand in hand, bringing down pH can also bring the alkalinity down. First, you need to know how much water your hot tub holds. Then test your hot tub water. You can use a liquid test kit or test strips to get an alkalinity reading for your hot tub. If it's high, add pH decreaser. If your hot tub holds a thousand gallons of water, use about three ounces or 85 grams to lower the alkalinity by 10 parts per million. Sprinkle the powder around the surface of the hot tub while it's running to help mix it in. This is called broadcasting. Then retest the water. After 24 hours, test the water again and adjust as needed. What if the alkalinity or pH is too low? Well, if both readings are low, you can start by increasing your alkalinity first. You can do this with a alkalinity increaser or with baking soda. Test the water again. If the pH is still low, but the alkalinity is good, then you can add pH increaser or soda ash, AKA sodium carbonate. Remember, always test your hot tub before adding any chemicals to make adjustments. Now, finally, here are a few more tips for controlling alkalinity and pH in your hot tub. After adding any chemical to your hot tub, allow the water to circulate for at least 15 minutes before retesting, or better yet, retest the next day for more accurate readings. Some sources recommend keeping your alkalinity between 80 and 120 parts per million, but we recommend between 100 and 150 parts per million. That gives the alkalinity more room to come down before having to adjust again. And never mix chemicals together. Add them one at a time and at least 15 minutes apart with the cover off of your hot tub. Lastly, you should change your spa water at least every three to four months. And even more often, if you use your hot tub a lot. If you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your hot tub questions, go check out our hot tub handbook and video course. You'll get in-depth video lessons, plus a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything that you need to know about hot tub maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your hot tub clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of hot tub. The best part is we always keep it up to date so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. That's swimuniversity.com slash spa and use the promo code video. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know. Hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn more about hot tub maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel and check out the hot tub handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash spa. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.